Water will always seek its own level, which is a fantastic characteristic. You can use this to make your own water level and keep you from having to buy an expensive laser transit. I use this technique when I built my house and my garage. I know it works. I'm going to be using it to level out my lawn, so I'm going to demonstrate it in this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Well, in a couple of weeks, I'm renting a backhoe because I'm going to be doing some landscaping. I'm going to be grading uh, this backyard. The patio on the side of the garage is, is pretty high compared to this area where the old garage used to be. Uh, this is some of the old vinyl tubing that I actually used when I built the house and the garage. And I had to go buy another roll because the yard is bigger. <laughs> Diameter doesn't really matter, guys. It's just, um, you know, if you make it, if you go with a really thin tube, then it takes a long time because of the amount of friction. So it takes a long time for the water to level itself out. If you go with a wider one, the water levels out faster. Uh, but the larger ones cost more. So grab any bottle you got. I put some water in here with some red food coloring. Uh, it's not actually Gatorade anymore. So I'm going to take this and uh, tape it to the side of the leg. We're roughly in the middle of the yard, and right now this bottle is higher than the patio itself. And I'm going to put the tube in the water and push it down to the bottom, and then I'm going to tape it uh, onto the leg also, so it doesn't go anywhere. For this other end of the vinyl tube, I'm going to tape it to a stick. Uh, this is just, it, it doesn't really matter what kind of stick you use or anything like that. And the bottom of the stick is right here on this timber. So that's what I want to kind of reference off of uh, so that I can mark where that grade is all the way around the yard. Uh, so. Uh, at this point, I can uh, suck on the end of the hose to draw some of the fluid in. You see it came out the top, and all you have to do is get it past the top, and now gravity is bringing it. So I'm working these bubbles out of the hose. At this point, all the bubbles are out of the hose, and I can go ahead and mark. There we go. So that's the reference point. So now when this uh, stick is sitting on the timber, that's the level line. So now I can move the timber around the yard and mark where that is. You can see the water level's way up here. As I raise this, the water level goes down, going up and down, back and forth, which is one of the slow parts of using a water level. But here I've got it level with my line now, so I know that the bottom of this stick, boom right there, that's the patio. Also something to note, this water as I, I brought the stick down, it shot way up. If that spills out, then you lose your reference because you've lost some of the water in the hose. So you want to make sure that um, you have extra hose here. Uh, and you're marking down at the bottom. I made that mistake the first time I did this where I, my mark was way up at the top and every time I moved the hose around some water spilled out and then I wasn't accurate anymore. So you got to make sure that you have the same amount of water in there. Well if you see a couple of little orange marks that is level with the top of those landscaping timbers but that was too high. Uh, there was about 14 inches right in the middle here and I definitely don't have that much soil on my property to cut and fill. Uh, I have a couple of spots like that mound of dirt over there, uh, but I, I knew that I just didn't have that much. So what I did is I chose a different spot and I drew this contour line around. So this is now my level line and it comes all the way around here. I'm calling it a contour line, but I chose this as my spot for that. So what I did was I, I put the stick here, made a mark, 
and then that's what I drew my contour lines off of. I put this T-stake in here, and that's still about six inches that needs to be raised at that location in order to make it level across with the contour line. And I this down, you can see that orange spot there and level it across. There's Eleanor. Uh, so this is how I did it. Uh, it just made sense in my head so that when I have the backhoe, I have something to go off of when I'm trying to drag the dirt out and level it. Uh, but if any of you guys are uh, landscapers or uh, graders uh, by trade, please let me know in the comments below uh, how this is supposed to be done. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot for watching.